Within my blog post, I have explained my planned research approach to, for the art therapy niche. While I have a generalized explanation of my research goals, I want to reiterate my plan to gain a more detailed understanding of how art in a therapeutic sense positively affects individuals who engage in the practice. I understand from my own experiences that it has a great effect on mental health and fortitude, but I want to further expand on this by observing the niche's audience and their reactions. Through the mapping of my media niche, I have identified core aspects unique to this style of content, which will allow me to integrate myself within the niche. I want to further expand on my observations by detailing further indicators within the niche's content. While there are several overlapping themes which align with the more general art content, such as art tutorials, creating atmosphere via showcasing artistic spaces and setting the, new, the mood through voiceovers and speaking to the audience. Generalized art videos tend to do this from an informative, actionable perspective rather than by focusing on the audience's per emotional response. From my initial observations of the art therapy niche, therapy-based creators tend to provide content based on their own expertise. As such, they are more informational with the purpose of teaching and emphasizing within their audience the importance of art therapy within their own lives. As such, they often center their videos in teaching the audience techniques to help them with, to help them with their own mental health through art and other practices. This paired with art-centered videos creates a need to make their videos more highly visually centered with emphasis on aesthetics and the quality of art created. Often the muted colors within the videos add to the calming, emotional, centered approach. Other non-therapist creators take a similar visual approach but focus more on art rather than therapy, as this is their expertise. Their videos more so are more so made for the audience to follow along, making tutorials a more integral part of their online persona. As such, I'll be following up with this persona. Thank you for following along with the audio section of my DCM241 blog post. Please consider subscribing to my website and social media to follow this ethnographic research journey.